So now let's decrypt uh, a message that was encoded using row and column transposition cipher with this keyword. Now this keyword tells me that there was six characters per row, and since there are a total of 24 characters in the message, that tells me that there are going to be four rows to fill out here. So I'm going to have, uh, and I'm just going to sort of make a little grid here for my reference. So we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six columns, uh, and four rows in each. Now, remember the keyword tel uh, tells us the order in which the columns were read. Uh, in this case, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, V, to the end. Okay, so it tells us that they, the, the, um, columns were recorded or, or read out in this order, and so that is the same order in which we're going to need to write them down. So the beginning of the message came from the last column, because that would have been the first one to get read. So we'll write down R, H, A, V in that column. So then the next four letters are going to go in the next column, T, N, U, S, and then we're going to jump to the middle, this column, the third column here, for the next four letters. That's R, E, D, E. And then we're going to go to the first column. Remember, this is the fourth one being read. And so now we're going to jot down A, I, E, R. Jot down the next four characters, the next four characters are going to be from the fifth column that was read, in which case it's the second column of the original. So that'd be I, K, A, T. Uh, and then the last four characters will go in the last row. So that's S, O, Q, R. And let's see what we've got. So again, now we just read our message out. So we got air strike. So we got air strike on, H-E-A-D, head, quarters, and then an extra character on the end, which was probably our padding. So airstrike on headquarters is our decrypted message.